Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for taking the time to click on this video. My name is Talisha and I also go by Creativity by T and today I am going to be sharing my most recent make which is McCall's 8031. So when McCall's first released their fall patterns and I came across this pattern, I had to have it. I absolutely fell in love with it because I am a big fan of ponchos. They are such a great transitional piece and they are also good for those who don't like to wear heavy coats but you still want something to be wrapped up in. I didn't know exactly when I was going to make this but I decided to go ahead and do it now because the weather where I live is absolutely perfect for this and this is the monthly pattern for the Sew Your View Sew Along for October. Now I didn't know that this was going to be the pattern choice for this month for the sew your view challenge when i made my october sewing plans but this is such a quick and easy and satisfying project so i just went ahead and squeezed it on in so if you don't know what the sew your view monthly sewing challenges are it's a page or profile on instagram that was founded by monica of that so monica and every month she picks a pattern and you participate by sewing whichever view you desire hence so your view and this is my entry for this month and because this pattern is so quick and easy you have time to participate as well so not only am I entering this project into the hashtag of so your view but Zaji of Zaji Cali makes on YouTube and Instagram put a challenge together last year due to the pandemic and everything else that was going on in the world to bring people together and connect with other makers and because Zaji had such a blast getting to know others and seeing the makes that everyone made and she just really enjoyed the connections and the engagement she is going to be hosting this challenge again this year and all you have to do is simply make something for fall and use the hashtag let's so fall 2021 and it actually already started on October 21st and it goes through the end of November so Zaji is having four prizes for this challenge this year and they are all $50 Visa gift cards. Now listen, <laughs> I was going to participate anyway, but I can always use some extra coins, okay? <laughs> this challenge is open again, like I said, all the way into the end of November, so you definitely have some time to enter into this one. And all the rules for this challenge is in Zaji's Instagram post that she did for this. And she also talks about this in a YouTube video that I will go ahead and link to below. And the video is a longer video, but the information about the challenge starts at 19.40 minutes. And I, again, will put all that information below and I will also link to her Instagram below where she talks about the challenge. And if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to Zaji's YouTube channel and follow her on Instagram. She is a very, very good sewist and she also knits and she has a lot of knowledge and advanced skills in both crafts and she just recently made a sweater with yarn she knitted a sweater and oh my god it is so awesome i i want to learn how to knit i don't know how i don't have time to learn right now however i want to be like that <laughs> when i do start knitting all right now that i have said all of that let's get back to the subject pattern which is McCall's 8241 and I made view B. There are three views on this pattern and again I made view B and view B features a curved hemline and a collar 
and the description for this pattern is Mrs. Tops but when you look on the website it goes more into detail and, and it says knit poncho tops with wide sleeve bands and options for cropped shaped and tassel hems it also features turtleneck and crew neck options. The sewing skill level is rated very easy and the notions that you need is going to be your thread and if you are making view C you will also need some yarn and cardboard and a crochet hook so that you can attach your tassels. Um, the suggested fabrics are going to be your moderate stretch knits with a 35% cross grain. Other fabrics that are suggested are sweater knits, French terry, sweatshirt fleece and cotton knit. Uh, the pattern sizing for this pattern is extra small through extra extra large so that's very size inclusive and actually there is a lot of ease in this pattern so even someone outside of an extra extra large could fit into this pattern. I cut a large but I actually could have gone down to a medium because that's how much ease there is but I'm okay with the large that I cut. I do think that it looks like the model, what the model is wearing on the pattern envelope. There's not really anything that I dislike about it other than the fact that the turtleneck is slouchy. It's designed to be slouchy. So as you can see on instruction number six, it shows where the neckband has a little bit more fabric towards the front, which lets you know that it's designed to be slouchy. If you have more of a stable fabric, then it won't be slouchy and it'll be more stiff, like how I like it, because I kind of like mine to look like that. But like I said, because of my fabric, it's slouchy, but you know, it's, a, it's still okay. The things that I particularly like that really stood out to me about this pattern is that I like that it is a transitional covering that you can use in place of a traditional coat or jacket and I really like how stylish and trendy it is. I like the turtleneck collar because my neck is usually what gets cold the fastest on my body and I like the fact that this pattern is a pullover style with no closures and I just love how easy this is because it's the perfect project to sew up especially if you lost your sew drill and you'll definitely have a beautiful piece at the end but like I said the project would just be like uh, no brain effort you need no brain power to make this and it's also great like now with the holidays coming up you could just sew this up really really quickly as a gift and um, the other thing I liked about this is this is something that you can wear daily because it is considered like a top but it's also a coat like a jacket or something you know in that family so you could wear it you can get a lot of wear out of it is basically what I'm saying so the fabric that I use is a solid knit and it's considered chenille and 100% polyester the color of this is ash rose and I picked this color intentionally because the month of October is breast care awareness month and I usually always make something pink during the month of October to honor breast cancer awareness. I know several survivors and I know some people that have passed on because of breast cancer but I definitely like to make gear and represent for the cause every year. So yeah I'll be using that hashtag as well. <laughs> So I purchased this fabric at Joanne Fabrics and when I was picking out my fabric I wanted to make sure that I picked something that was soft, fluffy, and had a good amount of stretch to make sure that I could fit it over my head with no issues and this fabric is just absolutely perfect it's beautiful too I just love it um, they didn't have much left so I was actually happy to get the three yards that I purchased even though I didn't need three yards I actually have five eighths of a yard left so I think I'm going to either make a color block sweater with the rest because I don't have enough fabric to make a whole top or anything like that but if you have any suggestions on what you think I can make with the rest as far as like color blocking or adding it to a piece let me know in the comments below um they also had a different colorway in stock but I thought this color would be perfect and 
again if i can't think of anything or i don't get any suggestions of what to do with the remainder of the fabric i will go back and get a cut of the other colorway because it is the same exact type of fabric just a different color and i can combine the two colors because they will absolutely look good together so I did not make any alterations or modifications and I would definitely recommend this to others. This is such an easy so This is perfect for the beginner, perfect for the advanced and just a perfect project to sew up if you haven't sewn for a while and you just want to get back into the swing of things and you want to sew something without having to study the instructions because I'm not doing specific techniques in a while. This is just a basic project with glamorous results so with my poncho i paired it with some aeropostale distressed skinny jeggings and uh, my boots came from rue 21. so now i will enter fashion clips and pictures for your viewing purposes so that you can see the garment in its totality As mentioned earlier this pattern is amazing it is awesome I absolutely love it I encourage you to sew it up this month and participate in the hashtag sew your view challenge on Instagram and the let's sew fall 2021 so that you can have an opportunity to win a $50 Visa gift card and connect with other makers I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked how my poncho turned out and I hope you participate in one or both of the challenges if you have Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a like and if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the gray notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Stay tuned to the channel because I will be uploading a sew along and other content very soon. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all of my new and returning subscribers for your support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.